All right, so what's poppin' everybody? Uh, welcome to a brand new video. Now, I was originally going to like make this like a super edited vid, but unfortunately, I'm kind of running on like a cold slash fever right now, so I can't really like be as energetic as I want to be. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to settle with what we have here, um, and hopefully, like the point still gets across. But if you've seen the title, then of course you know that the Chicago Buffalons will be attending and participating in the WBE, the World Batter Entertainment League, A Drives League, uh, starting this week, actually. T uh, today uh, and yesterday were the draft days where we pretty much just sit here and talk about the drafts. Um, my team by now has already been shown off. Um, I'm pretty sure if you saw the live stream on A Drives uh, stream, then you all, by all means, you can go and check it out yourself. Or... We do have a draft league WBE um, page where you can go and check on everybody's uh, drafts or whatever in the description section below. But we're going to be focusing on our picks this year uh, because, of course, this is the final. This is the final sun and moon uh, Wi-Fi battle slash competitive Wi-Fi league or whatever uh, until Sword and Shield come out, obviously. And my division is kind of stacked with some threats. Obviously, I saw Leo, I saw Envy, uh, my man's uh, oh, it was a, it, my man's uh, my man's under the radars in here. I'm pretty sure I got Gator as well. And I'm very, 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 very scared because we got like some really, really good competitive battlers in here. So uh, hopefully, this draft is going to be, uh, I guess, good in our way. Um, but I guess now with that being said, we should go ahead and go talk about the mons that we did choose uh, for this year's and I just I want to start off with um, my tier one obviously I wanted to focus on a um, a Fairy dragon steel core, but unfortunately the steel type that I wanted just did not get chosen but uh, a mon that I wanted to use in a previous league the UCL obviously um was open like like it was free right there and it's probably one of the one of the least um one of the least used tapus in the uh the meta because of course it doesn't get uh the, a boost by its ability but we're going to be rocking out with tapu fini uh, now the reason why i chose tapu fini is because obviously water fairy is an amazing type combination uh she gets access to defog she's an she's an amazing pokemon obviously it's just like, like i said the only drawback is she doesn't get a boost to, from her ability like everybody else does everybody else does uh but of course she's not the worst she's not the worst obviously tapu lele is banned uh tapu coco is um i'm pretty sure pat has got tapu coco uh, but obviously, instead of Bulu and uh, Feeny, I was like, I may as well just grab uh, either this or Primarina. But I figured grabbing one of the fairies who can pretty much do whatever she wants. She has access to a lot of stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like what Calm Mine. Um, she has Defog. Now, Defog is amazing. Uh, we can see Haze, honestly. Like, it, it's it's one of those things where it's like, she's a very, 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 very versatile Mon. Uh, she does what she needs to do, and she's very bulky as well. Very bulky. Um, and I kind of just wanted to have that and just be, you know, have that in my pocket. I wanted to grab all my, uh, I wanted to grab my tank and my attacker first. And speaking of attacker, we're going to go ahead and go into our Mega Mega Aerodactyl. Now, honestly, I gotta keep it a break with you. Um, I'm pretty sure this video hasn't gone up, but Aerodactyl for me was always one of those sleeper Pokemon. It was a suicide lead Pokemon. You went in, you stealth rocked, and you died. That was pretty much all that was. You had pursuit just in case you probably scared somebody out or um, something happened, you know. But it was one of those things where it's kind of just like seeing this Mon be like, sh like shot up straight to like insane usage and just seeing how like amazing it is firsthand is very very insane uh for those who don't know obviously we already had our battle for this week the very first battle goes live on uh saturday actually and honestly dude it's really 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 dope i actually don't understand uh i just don't understand it this thing has uh, amazing the only thing the only thing terrible about it is it really doesn't have any like really really good um really good uh flying type moves i wish it got brave bird but unfortunately i had to rock out with like air lace this week because of course air lace never misses um and it was either that or wing attack and i kind of just feel like i'd be wasting a slot if that was the case on it obviously but um i don't know it, it, i just like this mod because it's very very versatile like he he hits like a truck tough claws is there um he, he honestly his speed i think he's one of like the fastest 
uh, Mega's, or the, I think he is the fast, one of the, yeah, I think he is the fastest Mega, I think, I don't, I don't confirm anything, I think he's one of the fastest, but I'm pretty sure I heard, he's one of the fastest somethings in this game, and I forgot, uh, what I heard that by, or who I heard that by, I think it was like Nexus or like Joey or somebody, uh, but he has uh, just an amazing Pokemon, obviously, uh, Pursuit is an amazing, Pursuit Trapper, uh, Stealth Rocks, uh, amazing attack, you know, and he can just destroy everything. He is good. I feel like he's gonna be a late game sweeper, obviously, and that's pretty much how I'm gonna use him, unless like I can probably get like some good switch ins and take advantage of that. Uh, but Merrick Aerodactyl is definitely coming through, and I can't say the nicknames because your guys are gonna see the nicknames next uh, next week, obviously. But uh, on to number three for our uh, draft pick number three, we have uh, Kiram, who is actually one of my. It, I, honestly, I didn't think I was going to be able to choose Kiram, uh, but, you know, amazing, really, really slept on Pokemon. Obviously, uh, it's not on the same tier as its fusions, uh, because, of course, those are like, you know, well, one of them is banned, and the other one belongs to another coach on the draft, but that's fine. Uh, Kiram is a really, really good Mon, obviously, has pressure, 125 HP, 130 attack, uh, 90 defense, honestly, it just comes in and just kills stuff, uh, it's 130 special attack. 90 special defense and 95 speed honestly dude I, I love this pokemon only because of what it is honestly uh not a lot of pokemon can come in on a ice type on an ice beam from this damn thing unless you like utterly resist it and i feel like i'm gonna just like aerodactyl is gonna be a very 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 good um revenge sweeper especially if i ran like choice scarf on it something like that i could do a uh, sub roost maybe you never know uh, I could pop a Z crystal, put the ICMZ on there, put like, I don't know, the metronome on them, something like that, you know, just, just make sure that I have something on me, um, hidden power, whatever, just in case. Overall, though, his special attack and his attack, I can pretty much do it around one with this thing. Like, nothing's nothing's living whatever this thing comes out on or whatever, you know, whatever switches into this thing uh, just off of Earth Power and Ice alone. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could sit here and just be on, like, really, really ignorant stuff and just run, like, HP Grass or HP Fighting and just do something for this damn mon. Or HP um, Flying, just in case somebody has, like, a Fighting-type Pokemon that I could just, like, outspeed with a Choice Scarf, something like that. Uh, I feel like he's going to be really, really good. He pretty much plays the same role as Mega Aerodactyl without the Mega. Plus, he hits hard like a truck. Uh, 130 in both uh, Special Attack and Attack is really, really good. Uh, so, that's pretty much that. And this time, we have a returning member. Uh, Gotti the Arcanine is back everybody and honestly if you know then you know I absolutely loved this Pokemon back in uh, the UCL back in the day um, and you know it's just, it just a really really good mon flash fire intimidate um, you can actually heal itself with morning sun uh, it's like a truck with close combat uh, flare blitz um, wild charge as well uh, you can sit here and run like a bulky set and just be Gucci um, he is just a really good Pokemon. Extreme speed, just for priority. He is like a truck. Only thing, only drawback to this Pokemon, obviously, is, you know, obvious um, rocks, which is totally fine. But like I said, we have like two defoggers. I'm pretty much good when it comes to that. Um, just a really good Mon, honestly. I can run like Outrage on this thing. Uh, I don't know. It's it's really, really dope. I love this damn Mon. Thunderfang. I can run Toxic Will-O-Wisp on this thing. Yo, he's just so good. And then especially coming in like, oh, hey, here's an Intimidate. And then say, for instance, you want to like do something on like a Mon that's like setting up. I can just Toxic you, scare you out and try to like do whatever with that. Switch back out to a Mon that I know you're not going to like want to hit. And then switch right back into Arcanine and get that double Intimidate off. Like it's just a really good Mon. Gotti is amazing. I'm pretty sure Intimidate is probably going to be the most used ability on this thing just like it was in the ucl unless somebody has a, like a crazy good fire type and i can just like take advantage of it and capitalize off of it uh but this is where the core of the fire water um grass thing kind of came from as well because since i couldn't get the steel i figured having tapu fini having um arcanine and my next pick which is a very, very, very new Pokemon uh, for the draft, but I'm pretty sure you guys know uh, enough about this Pokemon if you're really, really invested into competitive Wi-Fi battling, uh, is Amoongus. Now, obviously, you're probably going to have a question about, you know, the Spore Pokemon with Tapu Fini and how, like, that's probably not going to, you know, that's probably not going to fly, which is totally fine. Honestly, uh, I feel like any Mon is good if you can use it right. Um, it has Regenerator on it, Black Sludge, Rocky Helmet, I can run Bold Nature, uh, Hidden Power Fire, just in case niggas want smoke. Giga Drain, obviously, we can, we can clear Smog anything, honestly. Um, and like I said, Spore, 
Spore can do whatever it wants. <laughs> Spore can do whatever it wants if I really want to run that type of set or whatever. I've seen so many... Uh, honestly, Amoongus is just one of those annoying Pokemon that just does not die. That's, that's pretty much why I chose it. It just does not die at all. Um, I really like this mod. I used to use it back in like the old 5th gen days, but of course that wasn't the case, obviously. Uh, it's kind of like dropped in like uses but it still kept that like place above like i think ru or in ru but above other than that like it's really really still a really really good pokemon um i love it to death like i love this thing like you can honestly if we'll say for instance like i have it out early before the top of Fini, a spore can that ass just grab somebody and that'd be good and that'd be useless like he'd be done he would be done um next on the list uh, is another returning member and it's my dawn uh mian chow the Lu Kang, Lu Kang, but his lady, uh, I like, honestly, what is it I'm not like about me and Chow? Reckless, Regenerator, uh, U-Turn Priority, a uh, High Jump Kick, Amazing Knockoff User, uh, Fake Out just to come in, uh, Assault Vest is always great, um, I can do whatever I want, Life Orbed, I can run Choice, uh, Choice Bandit, cause he, like, he has, like, um, he has, like, a 105 speed, so, I mean, he can do whatever he wants. And if I want to use Scar just in case there's one of those mods just like really, 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 really annoys me, I could just run like the naive set for this thing and just have uh, that one hidden power in the back and be good. Maybe like a grass nut on him. I feel like overall, he's the really, really good Pokemon and he pretty much covers like his own bases and he's just a really like versatile mod, especially with U turn. U turn is a very, 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 um, useful Pokemon, especially uh, with Regenerator linked up with my own uh, Amoongus, because Amoongus has Regenerator as well. So as you can see, we have two Regenerator users who can honestly switch back and forth between each other. Mianchao come in, knock off, or fake out, knock off, you turn out into, you know, Amoongus, who also gets whatever. He gets boosted, switch back out into Mianchao, who's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like you really have a lot of HP coming back, especially with Amon, uh, like, uh, Arcanine, who can, like, Morning Sun anything, and you know it'd be fine you know only mons that don't really have that that healing factor would probably be um mega aerodactyl and kirin but that's not what they're there for you know um we also have a new um a new team member and it's going to be rhyperior now honestly i gotta keep it a bit with you i haven't used the rhyperior in so long dude um, obviously it's speed and special defense and special attack is really, really low, but it really, 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 really is a tank. Like it's, the, it's the definition of a tank. It has 130 in defense, 140 in attack, and I think 115 in HP, uh, max both of those things out and it can pretty much live anything you want. Uh, this is another stealth rock user, uh, just like Mega Aerodactyl, uh, who, who can stealth rock, who can toxic swords dance, uh, who gets access to swords dance, who can toxic anything and pretty much take any like, uh, uh, a physical hit without like being set up on uh mega horn is always going to be good just in case uh an earthquake is just going to hit like a truck obviously there's like it's a really straightforward pokemon um but if anything i feel like it'll be one of those things where you just like have to wait and see what we do with this mon when it comes to certain mon or certain battles and certain uh drafts um i could run like you know the the, the choice band set run like ice punch the stone edge uh, the, the, the Mega Horn or something like that. Like, it, it's a really straightforward Pokemon, but when it comes in, it's really, really hard to die. I could run Leftovers, uh, obviously, if I wanted to, instead of just having, uh, the Choice Band set. I don't know. It's a really, really good Pokemon. I'm really excited to use this Mon, especially how, like, it, it kind of has, like, the team sitting there because of course you can look at like a moon gaze you can look at like uh kiram you can look at you know maybe a uh, mian chow who's fragile like that and be like damn you know this is a flare blitz from a darmanitan or like a, a sacred fire from an entei or like a, a, a something right and then we have here you go our ground type who is the really really good ground type who could pretty much honestly just come in take whatever fire fire type attack uh stone edge anything you want to switch out into and or earthquake uh maybe like a mega agron or something like that or like like a, any type of steel type, obviously. Um, and honestly, I don't know. It's just, I, I like this mod. I love this mod. Really, really good mod. Really, really tanky mod. Especially when we come from like a really, um, when the only tanky mod we do have is Amoongus. You know, I mean, we do have Tapu Fini, obviously. Uh, but she serves a purpose, um... Uh, I kind of, I kind of want to say like a black, like a background cleric kind of. She's not the cleric for the team, but she's like a background, 
uh, a background member. She's going to be in the back on pretty much every single team this uh, this entire thing, most more than likely, uh, just because of what she is and what she does for the team. Uh, but if not, you know, you never know. It might be a whole other purpose. But the next mod is going to be uh, Espeon, which I actually, honestly, there's not much to say about Espeon. Uh, very fast Pokemon, very uh, amazing Pokemon, uh, 130 in special attack, 95 in special defense, and then 110 in speed. Um, you could Leftovers, Electrium Z, you could, uh, you, you run, it has Magic Bounce, that's really good. Uh, you can know, Calm Mind, Psychic, Shadow Ball, you can Morning Sun, you can, you know, use Zab Cannon, you can Hidden Power Fire, you can Trick it with the Choice Specs, you can Daz and Gleam, Psychic, Shadow Ball, it's a straightforward Pokemon, or you can set up the, um, the, 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 the screens, and that would be fine, like, it's just one of those straightforward Pokemons, that there really isn't much to say about this damn, um, about this mod like that, it really isn't, now that I'm thinking about it, like, I'm trying to, trying to think about, uh, what I could say that hasn't, you know, been said about this mod, pretty straightforward Pokemon. If you know this Pokemon, you know what it's supposed to do and what it can do. Uh, but if not, then I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, funny enough, we talked about having like a U-turn regenerator Pokemon with Mianchao and having another U-turn uh, member with uh, with Amoongus. I mean, another uh, regenerator Pokemon with Amoongus, but we have a Volt Switcher. A lot of Switch priority is coming up. Uh, out from this team we have a volt switcher and that is uh eli the electros obviously uh, 85 in hp uh 115 in attack 80 in defense 105 in special attack uh 80 special defense and then the speed is 50 obviously you know he has levitate so he can pretty much take come in on any earthquake uh he can do whatever he wants actually and i'm thinking about it because uh he gets access to i think uh giga drain as well um, Flamethrower is obviously there. You can knock off, you can drain punch, you can thunderbolt, you can, uh, volt switch, put like an assault vest on this thing. You can run quiet, you can run modest. Very straightforward Pokemon for what it is, but he is an, he is amazing. But, 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 but the only drawback is that it can be taken down really, really quickly. Like if you, you know, want to have like one of your heavy hitters, like take this thing out, then you, you honestly could. Um, he'll probably take like one hit maybe, depending on what I, uh, when I put something in, he has 85 in HP. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not the best either. You know, it's not, it's not one of those, <laughs> one of those things. But, um, obviously, yeah, I don't know what you want. You know, he, he can't really heal itself. So obviously, Scald, I mean, so obviously, like a Burn, Willow is Toxic, uh, could definitely like take this thing out. Um, I know, I know, like, Mons, like, uh, I don't know. I don't think nobody chose Drampa this season. I'm not really sure. Then I'm thinking about it. I know Drampa can come in. Uh, I mean, we kind of don't. We kind of don't have anything besides like I, we have access to Drain Punch. That's one thing. But if we don't have it that one that one season, then I mean that one battle, then by all means, I don't know. Um, it's a very very still a really good Pokemon. Obviously, um, I have to honest. I, it sucks because I feel like you know with mods like Clefable. Uh, you know, certain assault vest users and certain um, leftover users, it could probably like outdo it. But I feel like knockoff is gonna be one of those mods where I don't know a lot of a lot of switch, a lot of mind games come with this Pokemon. You can either knock off, or you can Volt Switch. Uh, it's a relatively good Pokemon, uh, amazing I guess ability. Just in case, you know, he's amazing. I like I like the thing. I and last but not least, we have. Probably the most least expected uh, Pokemon that you all probably would have never seen. But now, we, I can introduce you to the real cleric. The one in the front of this entire thing. And it's going to be Audino. Now, Audino obviously gets... Uh, what does it get? It gets Healer, Klutz, and Regenerator. So, we have a third Regenerator user, obviously. Uh, it's a Wish, Hillbell, you know, knockoff dazzling game protect you can stall it with you can have toxic on it you can pretty much do whatever you want it's pretty much honestly like i said just the cleric pokemon wish you can wish protect uh you can wish stall 
uh, you could uh, heal bell a lot of the mo a lot of the status elements on here. It has regenerator, so you can pretty much just switch it out if it takes too much damage. Uh, you can run, I guess, leftovers on that thing. You can honestly, it takes hits like a truck. It has uh, 86 in defense and special defense and 103 in HP. So all you really just gotta do is just run, um, run, run max in HP. And I guess whatever one you're do specializing in that week, and then we pretty much be done with that. Uh, really interested to see how this mon uh, does because. I feel like this mon, like I said, is one of the, like, for, I, I, in my opinion, I feel like this mon is very, 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 uh, very trash, but this is also coming from somebody who, uh, who has only had experience, uh, in competitive OU Smogon, so it's like, I, this thing is kind of trash, but I don't know, this is like a new draft league format, so of course, this mon is definitely gonna get, be receiving some, some new spotlight, some new shine on it, uh, and maybe this, this might actually make me respect this one a lot more, I don't have no idea, obviously, um, poison types, kind of, you know, wreck house in this thing, steel types, wreck house in this thing, uh, set up sweepers, uh, if we don't have, uh, toxic, they could be an issue, but I feel like maybe, uh, clean clang, maybe Torterra, Incineroar, uh, certain mons obviously can, like, take advantage of the fact that the thing cannot hit much, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure it gets seismic toss now that I'm thinking about it. No, 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 it gets access to Drain Punch and... The drain Punch, in Power Fire, gets like Low Kick, uh, I guess like Power Punch, uh, I'm trying to think right now, I think that's it, uh, I think that's it, no, 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 yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's fine, so that's fine, um, but no, I, I think this mod in general is a really, really good, really, really good one, we can run like Calm Mind Set, you know, Dazzling and Gleam, Fire Blast, or Surf, you know, Psychic, or whatever, uh, we can do whatever we want because obviously if we run special attacking we could like bait out like you know the the, the mega steelixes of the thing the, the garbodors the violet plumes the the the, the, the grass you know the grass types or the the steel types that come in and you can set up a calm mind boom 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 and then here you go a fire blast or a, a surf or something like that i feel like he can definitely come through and maybe pop like a z move well we can't do the z move no 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 we can do the z move we can do z moves that's fine um but that's pretty much it i think that's gonna be that's gonna be it for this this draft. So this is the team for the Chicago Buffaloes UCL season three. <laughs> season three. Uh, obviously, like I said, if you didn't see the um, the live draft, then by all means, it's totally fine. Uh, in the comment in the description section below, not only will you get access to the public uh, WBE page where you can see my division and my rankings for the uh, for the I guess division or whatever but you can also get access to the WBE YouTube channel where they're gonna post a lot of like stuff like power rankings uh, where they're gonna be posting like I guess they're gonna commentate over the team battles maybe I don't know what they're gonna do talk about recaps or like that they're gonna do a lot of stuff over there over there so definitely go check them out right, go subscribe uh, and I will see you guys in the next uh, UC I'll see you guys later Saturday we got a whole battle we got a whole battle we got a whole battle but with that being said i'm gonna leave out hope you guys enjoyed bye oh wait a moment i'm sorry uh you can go pick up your uh wbe chicago buffalo merch in the description section below go check it out uh go support your teams bye